Um, I am making a mohair cinch. I have, it's gonna be a 34 inch cinch, and I have about 35, 36 feet of um, like regular neutral colored mohair. So, um, my boyfriend made this, so no, you cannot buy this anywhere specific. He just kind of made it up. Um, I'll show you how to kind of set up the basic um, cinch. You got your two uh, earring buckles here. Um, I did the first strand just so it kind of will stay put. Uh, you're going to take... down back to the other side. Oops. So why did you want to make a mohair first? So, um, I saw them online um, and I heard that they're very durable and they're more comfortable, comfortable for the horses than like the neoprene. Um, or just kind of like the off rope cinches. Um, they, they don't cause as much irritation and um, it doesn't cause them to sweat as bad. And you can wash these pretty easily. start going on the other side. And this is eight ply. It's called eight ply. And that's what you want for like the main base of the cinch. And then you use like two ply um, for like the designs. Of it. Where can you find all this stuff? Um, I bought mine from, um, it's called You Braid It and you can just order offline. They have sets. Um, they actually have like frames that you can use if you wanna just start out. Um, just like, they'll give you a starter package and you just pick your colors and you can do it yourself. They have like DVDs and stuff, but I didn't get that. I just kinda figured it out for myself and just bought their their uh, their mohair. How much was it? Um, actually, <clears throat> sorry for for I had actually already did one of mine. I got 
looking at 27 feet of the colored cords and I got 100 feet of the neutral color and all of that cost I think about 70 bucks so oh and I got the D like the buckles and the little D rings that go in the middle um, I think I got all of that for 70 bucks so it's not a bad price and that's cheaper than buying just the girth yeah once you get the hang of it it's not too bad spending money so I went to Hobby Lobby and bought a crochet needle and just kind of weave it in and out so that it stays and then you just cut the end of it and you have your cinch. You need Ally to help? Designs are two ply, so I'm just going to. Separate it out. We're done. I'm a. I'm not a DIY. I'm an LSD. Let someone do it. <laughs> <laughs> someone else do it. I'm LSD. <laughs> I'm LSD. I'm a drug. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> so you want to make sure it's center. We're going to start the diamond. Okay, so what you do... Okay, 
So this one is over and you're going to take it underneath the second one. You're going to cross it over. It's just like an over or under. So I just did attach the second D-ring. Leave it in there, you just set it on top. Like as you're going, you don't do anything special. You just, it's still the over under method. Pass it over. So this is the first one that I made. Um, it's not the prettiest, but it works and I like it. Instead of, it takes a while to do this. Um, the D-rings have to be like in the third uh, rope, the center obviously. 